Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this Wednesday evening edition of Politics with Riley King. Let's begin. First up, Democratic candidate Bennett says Mueller should testify before Congress. Colorado Senator talks with Democrat voters in Hudson. That happened today. Democratic presidential candidate Michael Bennett said Wednesday it's time for Robert Mueller to testify on Capitol Hill. Bennett was making a campaign swing through New Hampshire when Mueller made remarks about his investigation into Russia meddling in the 2016 election. Bennett, a U.S. Senate from Colorado, spent the day taking questions from Democrats on topics ranging from affordable housing to Venezuela. He said the United States should support the oppositions in Venezuela, but not intervene militarily. Several of the questions were asked in Spanish, and Bennett praised the country's diversity. Bennett got some help from translations, but he also tried to answer with some Spanish on his own. Bennett's campaign started later than most other candidates, and he hasn't qualified for the big debate stage in June. He called the Democratic National Committee debate qualification criteria aberratory. Sanders explains progressive ideas to New Hampshire voters. Democrat presidential candidate says Trump should be impeached. Democrat presidential candidate Bernie Sanders explained his progressive policy ideas this week to a group of New Hampshire voters. In a taping of conversation with the candidate, Sanders said his ideas come from his life experiences. And if you want to see that video, we will share that link with you on the Riley King Network Facebook page. Sanders held town hall events rally in New Hampshire campaign swing. Democrat presidential candidate talks about climate change, abortion, and minimum wage. He held an event at NHTI in Concord, and then he went to Londonderry and held an event there, and then ended the night off with an event at the Doubletree Hotel in Manchester, New Hampshire, in downtown on Elm Street. If you want to re read this article, we will share a link with you on the Riley King Network Facebook page. Biden rolls out plan to increase teacher pay, boost funding for schools, children. Campaign says with former VP and Dr. Jill Biden in White House educators, will have two partners. From increasing teacher pay to ensure universal pre-K for all children, former Vice President Joe Biden on Tuesday unveiled a multi-plan for educators, students, and our future. Harris wants some states to get DOJ approval before passing abortion restrictions. 
California Senator Presidential Hopeful unveils reproductive rights plan. Senator Kamala Harris of California is proposing a pre-clearance requirement that would force some states to obtain approval of the U.S. Department of Justice before passing laws that would restrict women's reproductive rights. Robert Mueller breaks silence, does not want to testify, says charging Trump not an option. Special counsel Robert Mueller on Wednesday broke more than two years of silence about his investigation into Russia interference in the 2016 election and whether President Donald Trump obstructed of justice, saying he does not intend to testify to Congress and explains he did not have the option of charging the president with a crime. The special counsel said he was speaking out because his investigation is complete. His office is formally closing and that he is resigning from the Department of Justice to return to a private life. And that does it for this Wednesday evening edition of Politics with Riley King. I hope you all enjoyed this edition of Politics with Riley King and have a wonderful evening, everyone. I'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of Politics with Riley King. Have a great night, everyone, and goodbye.